October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so for today's Impact Give Back, sponsored by Morris Bart, we are learning more about a local nonprofit that is focused on making sure women diagnosed with breast cancer have the things they need beyond just treatment. Please help me welcome to the show the founder of Women Helping Women, Donna Thomas. Hello, my darling. Hi, how are you? I am doing good. Thank you so much for being here. And Thanks all for having of your me. beauty and Thank you for starting an organization like this. You know, a lot of people think when somebody is diagnosed with breast cancer that it is all about the treatment, but there are other things that we need to think about. The emotional, the connection, yes. all of these other things. Exactly. And there was a personal thing that happened to you in 2007, that's why you started this, that made you want to start this organization. Tell us that story. Okay, my mom was diagnosed. Uh, with breast cancer and we had never heard it in our family before mm. so I wanted to after watching my mom in pain uh, because it ended up being metastasized mm. uh, a few places in her body so I decided I need to learn more about it because I have a daughter who has two daughters mm. and so I decided to invite some friends over so we can talk about it. And my husband and some of his friends will cook us breakfast and they will come up over every, every month of October mm -hmm. on a Saturday for breakfast. The men would feed us and then they would leave. And then women, the women that was there, we would discuss different things of cancer or just different things of women life, period. And in that, backyard things were revealed mm. so every year they wanted to come back and so we did that and uh, unfortunately I had to move back home with a tragic of my own and we uh, decided to go non-profit. Non which is what you all are today and I think it's amazing because you have created this community of women whether they have been diagnosed with cancer Correct. and still going through it or you know they're in remission and all of that. Correct. Let's talk about some of those different events that you all have because a little birdie told me y'all have a good time when y'all get <laughs> together. We do and uh, being diagnosed myself uh, know what it's like to need a support system. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we basically are, a support system. Having somebody to say it's okay, or uh, take your mind off what you're actually going through just for a little while, mm -hmm. to honor you um, for all the hard work you've done with uh, treatment or just with life itself. Yeah. And just that one day out of the year, the big event that we give, a Sunday brunch, um, just to say thank you and we got you you can do this and that's so and powerful. through that uh year when you're nominated to be a, a honoree through that year we have events uh different stuff you know and we have we sit down and we talk so the different sessions with other women to see that it's not just you, somebody else is going through it. Come on, it's that community piece and it's so yes. important. And you all have been seeing some photos of different events that you all have had. Kendra Scott created a yes. private event for you yes. all. The jewelry experience, oh my yes. goodness. Y'all have had yes. pool it, parties and yes. everything. It's amazing that yes. you're allowing women to come and just be themselves and share their story. Exactly. And what's also amazing is that you all do some fundraising and the yes. proceeds do go to a local yes. high school. Tell us the local high school and why you chose that beneficiary? Well, we donate to cancer research and then we donate to Carver Senior High School volleyball team. Um, Carver High is personal to me because uh, my son who passed was a graduate and also my I have three sons that graduated from Carver. Wow. I went to Carver. Hey. My dad went to Carver. Come so on, family. it's in our family. Mm. So I developed a relationship with the coach, and so the young ladies help every year. I don't know if you saw the pictures. Um, before we went to a big event hall, we had the brunch at a little hall where the girls would, uh, you know, serve the food. Yeah, volunteering. Uh, and now they still volunteer. So I thought it was fitting to, uh, you know, we donated the, uh, with shoes, shoes for, for them. It's the volleyball team. Volleyball shoes for the girl team. That's and amazing what yeah. you're doing. And I think it's so great that you're allowing these people to have these opportunities outside of, you know, those unfortunate doctor's appointments sometimes and just oh, sitting yeah. by themselves and wallowing in 
the sometimes sadness that somebody with cancer yeah. can feel. You helping women, I think, is amazing. And I personally want to thank you for joining us and starting an organization that is really helping people. And if people want to nominate somebody that they know that can benefit from this awesome organization, where how does the nomination process work? Well, it's just uh, if you have someone that want to be that would you would like to nominate, you can call us at 504. 382-6197 or you can t uh, email us at womenhelpingwomendt at gmail.com and remember everybody this organization is just not for people who are going through breast cancer if you have been through breast cancer this is also an opportunity for you to connect with these other women Ms. Donna thank you so much for doing what you do thank I you for know having your me. mom is proud of you your son as well and look for more information about how you can contact women helping women log on to womenhw.org all that information will be on that website we'll be